So, let's say you're at a car show and you find yourself staring straight ahead at a vehicle like this. And you recognize the front end, probably a 1970 Chevy Chevelle. And then you walk around to the side a little bit and find out it's an El Camino. Now the El Camino and the Chevelle from that generation basically share the same front end design. So what's one way you can tell the difference looking straight ahead at a 1970 El Camino versus a 1970 Chevelle? The quickest way to spot the difference? The front turn signal. On the El Camino, they're circular. On the Chevelle, they're rectangular. Why'd they choose to make the turn signals different? I don't know. Probably somebody said, we have to do something to make them a little distinguishable from each other. So if you're a Chevelle fan and you find yourself looking at one of these vehicles straight on at a car show and you notice the circular turn signal, prepare yourself for disappointment. Maybe there are some people who would prefer the El Camino, but let's face it, the 1970 Chevelle is much more of a pop culture icon thanks to the movie Jack Reacher. <laughs> Rectangle turn signals. I'm not going to play the entire chase, but let's watch some footage of the car in action. Now there's a flub you ought to notice in this chase sequence. In some shots, the driver's front turn signal is on, the light is on, and sometimes it is not. By that, I guess what I really mean is the parking light, since it's not actually flashing as a turn signal, is on and off. Off. It's on. Red with black racing stripes. I like it. Sometimes you gotta crank that key on your old Chevy more than once. It's still off. So who says those cars are best suited for straight lines in a quarter mile? Well, no need to play too much of it and risk a copyright strike, right? I encourage you to watch the full movie, or at least the chase sequence. Maybe just the chase sequence. As for those uh, turn signal flubs, they can fix that when the movie is re-released as a classic in 25 years. <laughs>